Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwan has come out in public to defend his sentiments over the shareholders' remarks that he made publicly a while back. The second in command also dismissed claims that the Kenya Kwanzaa government has failed to tackle the challenges Kenyans are facing. Gashagwan accused the media of still being in denial over the 2022 presidential elections results. And I quote, they are still looking for a way how the government can have a problem. They are using a microscope to try and get a problem. End quote. Gashagwa stated, despite criticism over his shareholders' turns, the deputy president has maintained his remark remarks unapologetic in demanding more resource for the, the regions that vote overwhelmingly for President William Samoy Arapruto. Gashagwa's public sentiments have lately caused a stir where President William Ruto has clarified his deputy's controversial shareholders' remarks where he deferred with Gashagwa by stating that the government belongs to all Kenyans fairly and square. All eyes have been focused to Gashagwa, as many have given their two cents of their opinion on why the second in command cannot tame his tongue and mind his words before speaking in public gatherings. Now that it is speculated that there might be a fallout between Ruto and his deputy president against this controversial feud where the where the second in command has stated that there are shareholders in the Kenya Kwanzaa government, where the president has declared that no one owes any share in his government, but all the shares are for each and every Kenyan out there. What do you think about this feud that's heating up?